Welcome to the channel, Angbate11 here, I bring to you my HBG Crash Course series. Today, I will discuss the Cluster Ammo. Here are some good things about the Cluster Ammo. First, damage is not dependent on where you hit the monster. Second, damage is fully dependent on attack and not on affinity. Third, it will give you fast consistent clear times on your solo hunt. Fourth, explosions. They're cool. Now the negative points. It's not ideal for multiplayer unless of course you're running a 4 man cluster team or running with people that you're contacting through a party and telling them where you'll hit the monster so that they'll stand back and just not go near your clusters. Second, rock steady and temporal is a must. Third, spare shot, razor sharp is mandatory which means you're gonna have less flexibility in choosing your armor. Fourth, it's armor and supplies heavy, meaning that your armor should be fully upgraded and your supplies should be fully replenished. I'll discuss the supplies that you need for clustering later on. The skills that affect cluster damage are attack up, peak performance, resentment, heroics, and agitator. Basically, any skill that increases attack affects cluster damage. Skills that do not affect cluster damage would be Slugger. The monster goes down because you exceed the staggered threshold, not because you inflict stun damage. If it is stun, you should see stars on the monster's head. If you don't, it's not. Artillery. It only affects sticky damage and wyvern damage. Next up is Bombardier. It will only affect bomb damage, but not cluster damage. The best HPG for clustering would still be the Dark Devourer because of its high roll damage. Second will be the Magda Gemitus, while third is the Lunastra Sticks HBG. The Luna Sticks deals 81 per cluster damage for a total of 405 per cluster 3 ammo. When Agitator is active, it deals 95 per cluster for a total of 475 per cluster 3 ammo. The Magda Gemitus HBG deals 92 per cluster damage for a total of 460 per cluster 3 ammo. And when Agitator is active, it deals 103 per cluster for a total of 515 per cluster 3 ammo. The Dark Devourer deals 100 per cluster for a total of 500 per cluster 3 ammo. When Agitator is active, the Dark Devourer deals 102 per cluster amounting to 510 per cluster 3 ammo. Without any spare shot, you would be able to release around 16 rounds of cluster 3 ammo. So to give a rough estimate of the damage, I will multiply 16 by the damages that we've seen in the damage comparison. The Luna Sticks would be dealing around 6,480 damage, the Magda HBG would deal around 7,360, while the Dark Devourer would deal around 8,000 damage. Now the Dark Devourer's damage can still go up because when I was running the damage comparison test, I was running it with double health augments without any attack augment and I only had attack level 6. So for increased survivability, I go for a lifesteal build to take advantage of the two health augments I have with Dark Devourer. And of course, you can always do double attack augments and just switch out the medicine jewels with vitality boosters and also another attack jewel. So still Dark Devourer all the way for me, but that's my opinion. Go and experiment with the other builds as long as you always put attack up and spare shot in your builds, you'll do fine. So on your loadout, make sure you have Farcaster, make sure you have Gunpowder Level 3 and Bomb Berries and Mega Barrel Bombs and Sleep Ammo and Paralysis Ammo just in case if you don't get those spare shots procs, you can just disable and then Wyvern shot them or Sleep Bomb them and hope they die. And of course, the most basic thing, don't forget to adjust your radial menu. You're supposed to make it type 2 to enable you for crafting those uh, cluster ammo 3s fast while reloading. And those are the basics of clustering. So good luck clustering. If you have got questions, just comment down below and I'll be sure to answer them. So thank you for watching.